Ever wonder why families never get a fair shake from the Michigan Supreme Court? Lucille, where are my judges? Just where they've always been, right in your pocket. Just follow the money. Justices Markman, Taylor, and Young have been given hundreds of thousands by insurance companies in big business. They have the money, but you have the voice. Justice should not be for sale. personal injury lawyers. Justice Resnick ruled in favor of trial lawyers who had contributed to her campaign nearly 70% of the time. After a union leader and big contributor complained about a ruling Resnick made, Resnick became the only justice to reverse herself in the case. Alice Resnick, is justice for sale? children into the house. Once inside, the three children were sexually molested. A four-year-old girl raped. Her brothers sodomized her. A Belleville man was arrested and convicted of the crime after trying to develop pictures of the abuse. Despite prosecutors' objections, Judge Lloyd Carmeyer gave him probation, saying the court should grant leniency. Another case where Carmeyer let a violent criminal out into the community. Lloyd Carmeyer, the wrong choice for Supreme Court. Tired of lost jobs? Skyrocketing car insurance bills? Doctors leaving the state? Tired of rich, greedy lawyers? Irrational judges? Self-serving lifetime politicians? Tired of our kids being victimized, but criminals going free? Then you're tired of Judge Warren McGraw. Radical McGraw. Too many lies. Too expensive. Too dangerous. West Virginia deserves better. Unbelievable. Shadowy special interests supporting Lewis Butler are attacking Judge Michael Gableman. It's not true. Judge District Attorney Michael Gableman has committed his life to locking up criminals to keep families safe, putting child molesters behind bars for over a hundred years. Lewis Butler worked to put criminals on the street. Like Reuben Lee Mitchell, who raped an 11-year-old girl with learning disabilities. Butler found a loophole. Mitchell went on to molest another child. Can Wisconsin families feel safe with Lewis Butler on the Supreme Court? One story is a fairy tale, the other's a nightmare. The fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty. The nightmare, the sleeping judge, Cliff Taylor. Judge Taylor fell asleep several times in the middle of our argument. How could he judge based on the facts when he was asleep? Taylor was voted the worst judge on the state Supreme Court. And fellow judges called for an investigation of Taylor for misconduct and abuse of power. The sleeping judge, Cliff Taylor, he needs a wake-up call. 